Hello Ubuntu fam, welcome back to another video. My name is Shan, if you are new here, and we make videos on our multicultural living and our simple living. We are expecting baby number two, and today I'm gonna to show you what I have included in our hospital bag. If you have seen other videos, you know that my mother-in-law is coming. She has arrived, and she is who will be staying with our two-year-old while we are in the hospital. Now that she has arrived, it feels like the baby can come. <laughs> and so I finally got around to putting some things in the hospital bag. And today I'll show you what I have. This being my second time around, I tried to not include too much because I know that at the hospital they can provide you with a lot of what you need. And I'll probably be living in the same clothes while I'm there, <laughs> in all honesty. I personally just pack in a suitcase and I think my husband will pack in like a backpack or something that he grabs when he needs it. I'll show you the baby stuff first. We don't know if it's a boy or girl so I grabbed like a girl, a sleeper, a more gender neutral sleeper, our newborn sleep sack. And then a couple onesies, a long sleeve onesie, and then this is like a little outfit for, could be a boy or a girl. I don't exactly know what they provide down here in Texas at the hospitals. So that's why I probably packed a little more than I needed. Typically I would have probably just brought, brought a going home outfit for the baby, but I'm not entirely sure how it will be as we are in a new state this time. I also brought a bow and a hat. Hat could be for boy or girl. Obviously a bow would be to announce if it's a girl. And the last thing for the baby is white noise. Well, I guess not the last thing. This was the baby's picture. Maybe, this one was maybe at like 15 weeks. Our, off, our OB office doesn't print ultrasound pictures, so it's kind of a chore to get them printed. But I don't have too many. I think this is the only one I have. But with our first pregnancy, we announced like the name and the arrival of the baby all through a letter board. So on the letter board, I will put the baby's name the date they were born, and then the weight and length of the baby. So I had the letters for the letter board. And this was so helpful with our first baby because instead of having to text everybody the details, we had one picture and we could just send it out to groups of people or individuals. And then it had all the details on it. And so I plan to do that again with this time. No name on it as we're not sure of the gender and the names are a little bit up in the air right now. Okay, the last thing that I have is a note. And if you know, when you give birth here, they supply most of what you need in the hospital. And there's some things I wanna make sure we come home with. So it's specifically for the baby, I have things on here like grabbing some baby Vaseline tubes, um, things like that. The rest of the stuff is things that I want to make sure I grab extra of before we head home, like mesh underwear, nipple cream, um, extra pads, things like that. So I do have a note with what I want to make sure we take some stuff from the hospital home with. And then I guess I'll show you the back of this note. I've included what snacks I want to grab when we're heading out to the hospital. So I just have trail mix, popcorn, fruit, and some chocolate. Just some basic snacks in between meals at the hospital if needed. So that's everything for the baby. Obviously the car seat is in the car and things like that. So they will supply all the diapers and wipes and tools we could ever possibly need. On my side, I have packed what I can pack. Some of it, again, is last minute things. 
but I have a couple of just like lounge tank tops, a couple nursing bras, a pair of shorts, two like baggy t-shirts, and then one pair of pajama pants. On this side, I have what I intend to wear to the hospital. This is just like lounge pajama pants, a light sweatshirt, and another nursing bra. And obviously once we get to the hospital, I'll probably pretty quickly change into the gown that they make you wear. <laughs> and so these I could wear during this day if I need to, if I get cold and things like that. This is a thing of toiletries, all pretty basic, so I will not go through it. I will say, I have learned, you know, the hospitals with just the amount of airflow they have, it can get kind of dry. So bringing a lotion and a chapstick can be helpful. Hair ties, things like that. Your own shampoo and conditioner if you want it. So that's toiletries. And then I also have a pretty significant list on my phone of toiletries that I don't have duplicates of that I would need to grab as we're heading out the door. So that includes things like my regular face wash and eyeglasses and toothbrush, toothpaste, all that kind of items. So toiletries. Okay, the last thing that I have prepared and ready is a blanket and a fresh pillow. And that I found would be helpful. I did not bring these items the last time and I wish I had them just because they're your own items and they bring comfort when you're sleeping in a hospital bed. I found the hospital bed pretty uncomfortable when I first and I actually moved to like the chair that's in the room. <laughs> My husband went to the hospital bed for the second night we were there because I was, I was just done with the hospital bed, I guess. So these items hopefully will make it a little bit more comfortable along the way. So that is everything I have for prepared ahead of time. Like I said, I have, I have this note with reminder items of things I want to take home from the hospital, snacks to bring to the hospital. And then I also have one note on my phone of last minute items to grab that I use every day and that I can't pack until we're leaving for the hospital. I do have a going home outfit for myself for like a lounge set. I ordered a new one actually, so it hasn't come in yet, but I will link it below. It's through Amazon and I ordered a couple colors and I'll decide which one to keep.